Welcome to the latest and very easy to apply viral marketing video training designed to take you by the hand and walk you through the process of getting the most out of viral marketing. I'm very excited to have you here and I know this will be very helpful for you. This exclusive video training will show you step by step, topic by topic and tool by tool what you need to know to dominate viral marketing in the easiest way possible using the most effective tools and in the shortest time ever. This video training is comprised of 20 HD training videos organized into six sections. This is exactly what you are going to learn. Section 1. Viral Marketing Basics In videos 1 and 2, we'll talk about what viral marketing is all about and the four core elements of a viral marketing campaign. Section 2. Setting up your viral website in videos 3 through 5, we'll talk about setting up your viral website with WordPress, adding must have plugins for viral power, and enabling viral power tools in your website. Section 3 Creating your viral content. In videos 6 through 8, we'll talk about getting viral ideas before creating your first post, the anatomy of a viral post, and posting your viral content like a pro. Section 4 Going wildly viral with social media. In videos 9 through 13, we'll talk about going wildly viral with Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, Reddit, and StumbleUpon. Section 5. Converting the viral power into cash. In videos 14 through 16, we'll talk about profiting from affiliate offers, Google AdSense, and content marketing platforms. Section 6. Additional viral marketing tips to consider. In videos 17 through 20, we'll talk about 10 do's to apply, 10 Don'ts to Avoid, Premium Tools and Services, and Shocking Case Studies. Well, it's time for you to get the most out of viral marketing for your business. I know you'll love this training. Welcome to Section 1 of our Viral Marketing Video Training. In this section, we'll talk about what viral marketing is all about and the four core elements of a powerful viral marketing campaign. We hope you enjoy and get the most out of this training section. What viral marketing is all about. What is it? Viral marketing, also known as viral advertising, refers to marketing that seeks to exploit online trends and social behavior to produce exponential increases in brand awareness, content sharing, rapid sales, and other marketing objectives. The viral part of the name is attributed to the ways in which viral marketing techniques achieve promotional goals, often mimicking the spread of computer viruses through methods that trigger self-replicating behaviors, such as word of mouth. Viral spread of information online is mostly attributed to the social nature of the transmission of information on the World Wide Web. Viral marketing differs from other advertising methods because it is not paid advertisement. Although viral content can be shared by corporate sponsors, it doesn't mean that the actual campaigns are paid for, nor do they need to be. Instead, viral marketing relies on the quality of content being shared and the social outreach of the people sharing it. The ultimate goal of viral marketing is to reach individuals with high social networking potential that can help spread information on a very rapid basis to a very broad audience, meeting the objectives set forth for the viral marketing campaign, no matter if it leaves a short or a long-standing impression. What defines viral marketing as viral? Viral marketing that works needs to meet three specific criteria to transform an ordinary message into a viral one. Having the right messengers. Three types of messengers intervene in the process of causing information to go viral, each one corresponding to a different stage in the process. The first type of messenger is the market expert. This is the first individual or group of individuals to be exposed to the message before it goes viral. This is because market experts are in the know and up to date with trends. These experts, often known as authorities or influencers, then pass the message to their different social connections. These social connections are spread among many online subcultures that serve as a bridge for the message to be spread further from the initial connection. The last messenger involved is the salesperson or marketer, who then amplifies the message by making it more persuasive and relevant, spreading it further to meet the initial marketing goal. Providing the right message. To go viral, a message is required to have a must-see ring to it. It must be memorable and interesting enough to become a truly infectious phenomenon. In simpler words, the message needs to be something that people will want to show to their connections. B. 
being in the right environment. Although it is true that the popularity of a message cannot be predicted, changes in the environment and context in which the message is intended to be spread can lead to great results. Timing and context surrounding the launch of a message are crucial to make it go viral. How does it work? The viral process starts when information reaches a susceptible user and that user becomes infected, which means that the user accepts the idea, shares the idea with others, and infects them with it. From that point forward, the process becomes self-replicating behavior. An example would be a user that shares a video with 100 other users through a given social media channel. Each one of those users share the same video with 100 other users, and so on. Due to this, the message gets spread across many platforms and reaches many, many people. Once the message gets spread through repeating behavior like email forwarding, social media sharing, and instant messaging, it is considered viral. Pros and Cons The advantages of a viral marketing service are high credibility, low costs, great reach, high efficiency, and the opportunity of continuous promotional adjustments. Reasons for the wild popularity of viral marketing include, but are not limited to, socializing and networking, which have gotten people closer than ever before. A seemingly endless amount of potential methods and vehicles to deliver the message with mobile devices as a prime example of the physical means facilitating the spread of content online. Viral marketing is one of the most cost-effective methods for promoting business-related activities, and resources are readily available online and are easy to use and implement in any type of campaign. In spite of the risks involved, viral marketing has the ability to draw in the greatest potential audience at a convincingly low cost, dramatically increasing the outreach of your business. The main disadvantages of using viral marketing for driving marketing goals include association with unknown individuals and groups. The strength of viral marketing heavily depends on how a message is transmitted from one person to another. People and audiences that you would rather not interact with can easily be reached this way. Spam threats. Viral marketing can lead to two forms of spam issues when not correctly planned. Your campaign will either come up as a spamming campaign or you might become the target of spammers and unsolicited contacts. And it may not work to promote financial-based offers depending on the type of audience that you end up reaching. Usual Strategies That Make Things Go Viral Publishing content based on proven frameworks by finding old content that did well when it went viral and crush it with something even better. The key is to identify gaps in that content and fill those gaps with something that is relevant for the time of the planned release. Then, start promoting like there's no tomorrow. Delivering content by word of mouth. Social, functional, and emotional factors attached to an item can get people talking about it. This is especially useful when promoting products. Viral promotions may take the form of video clips, interactive flash games, advertising games, ebooks, software, images, or even text messages. Choose accordingly. Customer participation and polling services. Plain classic email forwarding, using buzzwords to invoke a word or phrase that becomes very popular for a period of time. And online advertising. Stay with us for the following video to learn what the core elements are that make a powerful viral marketing campaign be, well, powerful. The Four Core Elements of a Powerful Viral Marketing Campaign In our previous video, we talked about how viral marketing is all about dramatically boosting outreach by making lots of people pump our content in all directions, across many channels at the fastest rate possible. That is why it is called viral, because viral content spreads much like a computer virus, this time intentionally. We also talked about how viral marketing is not magical that people do not share content virally only on the merits of good content, and that a successfully run viral marketing campaign heavily depends on the actions put forward by the people involved, whether they knew that they were sharing content to make it viral or not. In this video, we are going to talk about the four elements that are at the core of what makes content go viral, or basically what the messengers, the message, and the environment need to do to send a campaign through the roof. Viral Website while it is true that much of what has become viral since the term viral began, there is a very relevant aspect of said content that people tend to forget about, where the content is housed. 
That is, any website can potentially go viral if the content on it allows for it. But when this happens, it is actually a matter of luck and unintentional. If you want something to go viral, you need to add viral levers to it to increase the chances. In the early days of the Internet, viral content needed a viral website to be strikingly unusual. Nowadays, a viral website just needs to be responsive, be search engine friendly, and host trending, high-quality content. Viral Content Regarding trending and high-quality content previously mentioned, your website will be next to nothing without content. Not just any type of content, mind you, but content with the highest possibility of going viral. Content that will not only make people want to share it with their friends, but content that they feel needs to be shared with the whole world if possible. Viral content needs to be understood as content that not only targets a niche audience, but that caters to a large number of people from different subcultures. An example of non-viral content would be if you have food recipes, because food recipes will only be of interest to food-minded people. It can, of course, go kind of viral within a certain audience, but its outreach will not go further than that. An example of viral content is celebrity gossip, because celebrities inundate almost every aspect of popular culture, and word about something that a celebrity did will undoubtedly land on the news feed of anyone with a social network account. Viral content can also be miscellaneous stuff that is so out of the norm that it deserves to be shared, like new tech products, scientific discoveries, and news pieces. To summarize, viral content needs to meet the following criteria. It needs to touch an emotional cord within people, be it joy or sadness. It needs to drive intense curiosity. And it needs to be about something recognizable. Social media. Social media is, without a shadow of doubt, a giant force behind making something go viral. This is because social media makes it really easy for content to spread at a really fast rate among different groups of people, with each group reaching out to other groups of people until a piece of viral content is all over the place. Any marketer can leverage social media to spread content like there's no tomorrow, thanks to the very nature of the ways in which social media channels work and the options made available to them. For starters, once you get a piece of content out there and it reaches people with high social networking potential, these highly social individuals put it out there for their contacts to share. Then your content becomes an unstoppable tidal wave that is not easy to contain. In a matter of mere hours, your content will easily become a worldwide sensation. On the other hand, most social networks give you paid advertising options that you can use to give a little boost to your viral marketing campaign, or to outright promote it in an aggressive manner. No matter your approach, if your content is high quality and qualifies as viral, social media will take it out there, guaranteed. The clearest examples of social networks putting viral content on the map are Facebook and Twitter. Facebook, of course, will help a great deal because it is the most popular social network on the planet. And Twitter works for viral content thanks to the fast-paced way in which content is shared across the network. Monetization Finally, it is worth mentioning that if you are intentionally making viral marketing, then you should monetize it. Viral marketing is designed to drive as many people to see your content as possible. And monetization can be a really easy task to pull off. That's mainly because you will be taking these people to the same place to consume your viral content, your viral website. The main way to monetize your viral website is by insight advertising using a platform such as Google AdSense to insert ads in your viral website. People visiting your website on a daily basis will see ads targeted at them, click on them, and earn you money. This is the safest monetization strategy, but you can also monetize a viral website through affiliate marketing with the use of cost per acquisition offers in your website or by introducing e-commerce elements to your viral website. Stick around for our next video and learn how you can start setting up your viral website the easy way with WordPress. Welcome to section two of our viral marketing video training. In this section, we will talk about setting up your viral website with WordPress, adding must have plugins for viral power and enabling viral power tools in your website. We hope you enjoy and get the most out of this training section. Setting up your viral website with WordPress, installing WordPress. Well, installing WordPress is simple. Hosting services have made the process as easy as possible. If HostGator is your hosting service of choice, 
Go to the software area and click on Quick Install. Then click on WordPress. Pick the domain where you would like to install your domain. You can also decide if you would like to install it on a folder inside of that domain. If you want to install it on the root domain, just leave this empty and click on Next. After that, fill out all necessary information, check the terms of service, and click on Install Now. Well, that took less than a minute. Extremely simple, right? You'll now see your login details, which you should keep in a safe place. Leveraging the best themes for viral websites. When you create a viral website, you cannot just settle for any type of commonplace theme or use a theme just because you like how it looks, if what you want is to drive viral content through your website. That is why there is a good variety of website themes available that have been designed with user engagement in mind. Themes designed for viral websites increase user interaction and increase the chances of a given piece of content of going viral thanks to the way they are designed. Thankfully, we have compiled some of the best themes available for WordPress that you can use on your own website. These viral themes are used by some of the best viral websites around like BuzzFeed.com and ViralNova.com, and you'll only need to do some clicks on your mouse to get them installed from the WordPress Marketplace. Some of these are premium paid themes and some are free themes, so choose based on your needs and budget. If you're new to WordPress and are not sure about how to start installing a theme for your WordPress site, just go to your dashboard, place your mouse pointer on the Appearance tab, click on Themes, and then click on Add New. Some themes, however, will be posted on external marketplaces, so make sure to use keywords related to the type of functionalities that you want to have on your WordPress themes. Use Google to find a marketplace offering them. The following themes are some of the best that you can start installing today. Valenti. Valenti is a premium WordPress theme priced at $59 and designed for viral websites. It is a fully responsive, retina-ready, high-definition, review magazine-style theme that allows users to build cool viral websites with a custom drag-and-drop feature. It does not require users to have coding experience to start creating great viral websites, and it's on sale at ThemeForest.com. Socially Viral Socially Viral is a WordPress theme designed to boost social shares, hype, and revenue. It has an engaging design, and it will place your most popular posts at the top based on the number of views they are getting. It has a newsletter widget, is mega menu compatible, and it loads super fast. It is a premium theme priced at $59 and can be found in the WordPress marketplace. Surframa. This is a favorite among WordPress users thanks to how minimal it is. This is one of the most popular, widely functional, free WordPress themes. It has a super cool menu, right side bar menus for categories, and shows the latest post published. It is only lacking more attention-grabbing social buttons. To get it, just head over to surframa.com and click on Get This Theme. Human. Human is another free, responsive, and high-resolution theme for your viral WordPress site. Among the most interesting features that you can find on it are extensive styling and flexible layout options, integrated share counts, unlimited widget areas, and a featured slider. You can find it in the WordPress Marketplace by looking up its name on the search bar. Adding must-have plugins for viral power. In our previous video, we guided you through the process of creating a cool viral website from scratch using the WordPress platform, which as you could see, allows you to create fully functional and responsive websites with a few clicks on your mouse. The very best thing about WordPress is how easy it makes it for people from all walks of life to create a website in a matter of minutes. You also had a glimpse at some of the things that you can access through your WordPress dashboard, mainly the theme store. The Appearance tab will enable you to get your hands on a lot of other features that will give you greater power over your viral website without having to know any programming tricks or other complex tasks. One such feature is the use of plugins that will allow your website to perform beyond what you actually thought was possible. In this video, we'll teach you which plugins will give you a real advantage in this viral marketing race. First off, what is a plugin? 
A plugin is, in simple terms, a piece of software containing a set of functions that can be added to a given program or platform. In the case of WordPress, plugins can expand functionalities or add new features to your website. In fact, the WordPress community tends to brag about how the platform has a plugin for making basically anything work on a WordPress website. How do you install plugins on a WordPress website? Installing a plugin on a WordPress site is very easy. Just go to your WordPress dashboard and look for the Plugins tab. Then click on Add New. You can search a plugin with keywords using the search box. Choose the one that best fits your needs and click on Install Now. Additional configurations will depend on the plugin installed. Must have plugins to add viral power to your website. Shareaholic. Shareaholic is a plugin that will help you amplify the outreach of your viral website by increasing site traffic, user engagement, conversions, and possibilities of monetization. Best of all, it is free. Shareaholic is described as an all-in-one content amplification platform. It adds certain elements to your website that will help you amplify your content. Social sharing buttons, related content recommendations, social analytics, site monetization apps, optimized promoted content, native ads, and affiliate links. Social Locker Social Locker is the most popular content blocking plugin. It will improve the quality of traffic to your website as well as your website ranking. What it does is that it hides the most valuable content in your site behind social buttons, leaving no choice for your highest quality visitors but to share or like your pages to unlock it. Social Locker will attach a call to action to your social sharing buttons, making them much more attractive, which will increase social engagement on your site. Enabling Viral Power Tools in Your Website Congratulations on your newly created viral website. You got through all the initial steps. Installing and setting up your website with WordPress, installing a cool, fully functional viral theme, learned about plugins, and which are the best ones available to be used on a viral website created with WordPress. In this video, we have decided to give you a helping hand and guide you through the process of setting up viral power tools that your website needs to keep the eyeballs of visitors engaged and the quality traffic coming. We're going to use tools that focus on two key attributes of a viral website, website optimization for search engines and social engagement. These tools are easy to implement and use, and you won't need to write code or do complex technical stuff. Just use the following steps to enable these viral power tools in your website. Website optimization for search engines. You'll need to optimize both your website and your content to rank appropriately in search engine results. We're going to show you a tool that you can use on your WordPress website to rank higher and get indexed by search engines such as Google and Bing. Yoast SEO. The first tool in our arsenal is the Yoast SEO plugin. It's a fully fledged search engine optimization tool for your viral website. This plugin will allow you to optimize your content on the go, giving you insights on how to write the best titles, meta descriptions, and content to be properly ranked on search engine results. Just head to the Plugins tab in your dashboard, click on Add New, search for the plugin using the Yoast SEO keyword, click on Install Now, and then on Activate. Once you install this plugin, you can go to the SEO tab on your left to leverage its power. Click on Dashboard to enter the plugin's configuration panel. There are two important tabs to check the first time you use it. First, go to Your Info. There you'll have to enter a website name that will appear when your content is shown in search engine results pages. We recommend you enter the name of your website, plus a brief description separated by a hyphen. Below you can specify if your site operates as a company or as a person. Once you're done, click on Save Changes. Now, go to the Webmaster Tools tab. There you'll be able to verify your site on the most popular search engines without much hassle. Just follow the link to each of your Webmaster Tools accounts, sign in, and follow the instructions. Finally, don't forget to familiarize yourself with the rest of the optimization options available from this tool, such as Social Media Integration and XML Sitemaps. Social Engagement 
You need to make engagement and sharing an easy task for your viral website visitors. And these might just be the right power tools for you. Shareaholic. The Shareaholic plugin is a tool that will optimize your viral website to get tons of social media shares. Just look it up using the Add New Feature in the Plugins tab. Use the Shareaholic keyword to find it. Click on Install and then Activate. To start getting all those shares and comments, simply go to the Shareaholic tab in your dashboard. There, you'll be able to configure related and promoted content, share buttons, and monetization. For the purposes of this training, we will only configure share buttons and we'll leave the other options as they came. You want people to share your viral content, so you'll have to check the above content and the below content boxes in the post sections. Uncheck all the other ones and click on Save Changes. Facebook Comments Most people will likely see your viral content when connected to Facebook, so having a Facebook Comments box in your site is as resourceful as having all those social sharing buttons, which brings us to our last tool. Look up, install, and activate the Facebook Comments plugin from your dashboard. That's it. You now have a Facebook Comments box for each viral post in your viral site. You can configure your Facebook Comments box by going to Plugins, clicking on Installed Plugins, and then on the Settings button located under the plugin name. That's all for now, but stay with us and see how you can find viral content to get inspired before you create your first viral posts. Welcome to Section 3 of our Viral Marketing Video Training. In this section, we will talk about getting viral ideas before creating your first post, the anatomy of a viral post, and posting your viral content like a pro. We hope you enjoy and get the most out of this training section. Getting viral ideas before creating your first post. Although we told you that viral content needs to be emotional to become viral, there is not too much that can be said about what is bound to become viral. There is not a surefire way to know if something will become wildly popular just by looking at it. Things that seem insignificant can become huge overnight hits without anybody seeing it coming. The same happens with stuff that looks like the kind of thing that is supposed to make a lot of noise online, but never quite manages to do so. The good news is that there is so much content online that you can just go and take a peek at what can become viral to get ideas before creating a would-be viral post. This video mainly deals with ways in which you can spy on trending topics to get a fresh idea about the things that you can capitalize upon at any given moment in time, because something that is in everybody's mouth today won't be there tomorrow, so you better get prepared for it. Let's get started with some truly useful tips. You know what's sad? Arriving late to any party. It's worse to get there when everyone has already left. To leverage the power of a piece of potentially viral content, you need to put a foot forward and get in the know. There are plenty of online sources that will allow you to browse trending topics. We recommend you use one called buzzsumo.com. This website allows its visitors to use any type of keyword to see how it relates to trending topics. You'll enter a keyword in the search bar, and buzzsumo.com will show you the results related to that keyword. The first results that you'll see are the posts that have become viral on social media. You'll be able to filter your results by date, language, country, and content type. Another great place to look at what is trending now is Google Trends. You can access the service by going to google.com slash trends. On the front page, you'll see data gathered from the most popular topics for the present date. And you can scroll down to see what stories are trending now around the web. You can select a category and a country to filter trending stories. And you can use the search bar on top to look up trending stories related to a given keyword. You'll get statistical data and the countries where that keyword is more popular, as well as topics related to that keyword. Our final recommended source is reddit.com. Reddit's own headline is the front page of the internet, and with reason. On Reddit, you'll find basically anything you might be after. With every occurrence sprouting first in the most popular message board on the planet, it is easy to gauge if something is about to go viral by just taking a look at people's reaction to it, 
It is also a great gateway to share your viral stories. The Anatomy of a Viral Post There are so many things that can make content go viral that they're pretty hard to number and dissect on a whim. You have seen this many times by yourself already. You're on your own, minding your business on Facebook or wherever, and all of a sudden you see something on your wall that immediately grabs your attention. Then, a gut feeling telling you to click on the link in the post overwhelms you, and you can't do a thing about it. You click without too much of a second thought and find the story to be short yet compelling. And you can't help but click on the share button corresponding to your social network of choice. That is the exact same reaction that thousands upon thousands of people just had with that same post. It is worth asking, how do they pull it off? We mean the creators of the post. How do they make a post go viral so easily? The secret, besides cool engaging content, lies in the post's structure. Here is a breakdown of the anatomy of a successful viral post. Use this information wisely, and you'll soon see people reacting the same for your posts. Title Common sense would tell you that a great title is a self-explanatory one. A title that tells you just what you need to know. If it contains the information you're after, it will lead you straight to what you wanted. But does this apply to everybody? The short answer is a flat no. A self-explanatory title will just get the attention of people interested in what the title promotes, but everyone else will pass it off. If you want your titles to grab everyone's attention, you have to create a title that drives curiosity in people. These types of titles are called clickbaits, and they're designed to make people curious. They do not tell the entire story behind a title. They just tease people with possibilities, leaving the message of the title open to interpretation. It makes people fill in the gaps with their imagination, which forces them to click on the title to see what it is really about. Closing the cycle. One of the best ways to drive curiosity and get people to click on a title is by making it list-based. List-based articles get more traffic because people prefer content that is presented in chunks instead of long articles. It helps if you put a little tease in your titles, such as stuff that might come as a pleasant surprise to people. For example, you can create an article titled, Six Myths About Diabetes, Number 5 Might Shock You, and cover two elements in the same title. You're teasing a list-based article and a shocking surprise, which will drive curiosity and shares. Another element that you can add to a title that people will want to click on is a teased answer. Let's develop a second example with this element. Let's use the, We Challenged Six Health Food Claims. This is what we found. You added a teaser answer to that title, increasing its value to people seeing it. You also have to mind the structure of your titles. We recommend you check your titles before you post them with Portent's Idea Generator. Simply go to Portent.com, click on Tools, look up the Idea Generator, and enter your title in the text field. The Idea Generator will analyze your title and give you ideas to polish it. Image Images are great previews for your posts and are a great complement to your title. A well-placed image under a well-crafted title will make a huge difference between getting lots of traffic and attention versus getting just a few clicks here and there. You'll always need to accompany your title and body of your posts with high-quality images. What makes a great image viral? Depending on what your title promotes and what your actual content is about, you might get away with using a common image or you might not, especially when your viral content is all about something really specific. The important thing to keep in mind when using images is that you have to use images that are both fun and relevant to your post. Where can you find viral images? There are three great venues for finding high-quality viral images. The first one is Tumblr.com. There, you'll be able to find tons of funny images related to whatever keyword you look up. Just right-click on the image that you want to use and save it to your computer. Another free resource to find images is Pinterest. Just use the search bar to look up any keyword or topic, select your images, and save them. Our last recommended free resource is Google Images. Search for images by keywords or topics and save them to your computer. It would be wise to reference the website where you located the image in your post, however. 
Finally, a really good way to find images is by using paid databases, where you are guaranteed to find basically any type of image under the sun. We recommend you use Getty. Go to GettyImages.com, create an account, and dig inside its marketplace. Content. The heart and guts of a viral post is ultimately found in its content. One can argue and say that great content is a combination of titles, images, and the body of text. The truth is that cool viral content is something that people will want to share after checking it. The reason that a post goes viral can be a single video, image, or piece of text from within a whole article, but it can also be a combination. That is why you have to use great care when crafting the content of your posts. A rule of thumb is, depending on the subject, you have to create content that viewers can identify with, while making good use of the tools and resources discussed above. This is an example of a post crafted to go viral, with an attention-grabbing title and list-based content and a unique, very creative image. If you'd rather concentrate on the technical aspects of your site, or if researching is eating up your entire time, you can easily outsource the creation of your content. Fiverr.com is a great place to look for people eager to work on your content. You can search freelancers to create content for you by categories like creative writing or articles and blog posts. You can also get a little more specific and search freelancers by using keywords such as viral content and find those specializing in it. Stay tuned and learn how to create great viral posts from scratch like a pro in our next video. Posting your viral content like a pro. You know what it takes to make a post viral. A cool, enticing title, great-looking and attention-grabbing images, and premium shareable content. All of those elements combine to make a successful viral post that is sure to make all the rounds. Now, it is time you apply the right techniques alongside those elements to create your first viral post like a pro. It's easier than you think, and there are various ways to post content that will go viral online. So let's take a look. Creating a viral post. As a first step, you'll need to create your viral post. So let's do it the easy way. Start in your WordPress dashboard and go to the posts tab. Then click on add new. This is where all of your viral posts will be born. So bear with us here. There are three basic stages when you post your viral content in your WordPress dashboard and we'll teach you to go through them step by step. The first one is the title located in the enter title here text box. Use the tools that we recommended before to create a title that people will want to click on and enter it here. Next comes the viral image, which can be inserted with the Add Media button. You can insert two types of images here, featured images and into post images. A featured image is a headline image that will go along with your title, usually on top of it. So this is the first one that you need to insert. Just click on Upload Files and search for it in your computer or use one from your media library. Into post images are images that will accompany your content, so you'll insert those depending on how you structure your post. The last stage is the structure of your content. Like we said, it is better to structure your post in list format, and WordPress allows you to do so with a little code in the text editor. Just type your numbered titles in between H1 and H. To give you an example, our first numbered title would be H1 hack number 5 H. You'll have to do this for each one of your subtitles. Now, write your content and insert the images to accompany your post. As a last step, insert tags to your post to make it easier to find. Remember, these tags must be relevant to your content. Click on Publish and Post. Partially lock your content. You can partially lock your content to get more shares on social media platforms. Simply install and activate the Social Locker plugin. Go to the Plugins tab and click on New Locker. Now click on Create Item in the Social Locker box. Now, you only have to create a post like normal. Only this time, you'll have the option of locking your content behind a message, asking people to share it before they can access it. Select how your locker box will be shown and click on Publish. Post quizzes and polls. Quizzes are very popular because people like seeing quiz results from each other and sharing. 
polls are equally popular because they let people express an opinion without too much effort. We recommend you post quizzes and polls on a regular basis as a way to keep people engaged with your site. Simply go to playbuzz.com and sign up. Go to Create. You'll have many options to create interactive forms for your website. Once you have created your form, whether it is a quiz, poll, or trivia, you'll just have to click on the Embed button. Copy the text provided, go to your WordPress editor, and paste the code in the text editor, and click on Publish. Welcome to Section 4 of our Viral Marketing Video Training. In this section, we'll talk about going wildly viral with Facebook, going wildly viral with Pinterest, going wildly viral with Twitter, going wildly viral with Reddit, and going wildly viral with StumbleUpon. We hope you enjoy and get the most out of this training section. Going wildly viral with Facebook. One of the reasons why viral content is so prominent in recent times, when compared to many years ago, is that viral content used to go viral through word of mouth and email forwarding. Now it's because of social media. Social media makes viral content spread so easily that right now you don't think twice about something when it goes viral. You just think it's business as usual. That is exactly why you should like it. When you take a look at the sources of traffic from all types of viral websites, not only from the most popular ones you'll realize that most of that traffic comes from social media networks and not from, say, organic searches. That is because viral content gets shared on social media first, and then spreads from it. In the past, sources of viral content were not that easy to spot, or were just plain unpredictable. You now are in a time when the preferred platform for releasing viral content is social media, because social media makes it so, so easy for marketers to post viral content. We have designed Section 4 of our training to help you leverage the power of social media, and we will start with Facebook. Why Facebook? Well, Facebook is the most widely used social media platform to date, and there's a lot to gain from using it to post your viral content. Now, let's get into the basics. Creating a Facebook page for your viral website. To get started on Facebook and to get all those sweet shares and likes, you'll need to create a page for your viral website in the platform, which is an easy task. There are two important things that we recommend you have ready to go before you start, because these are important for the process. A name for your Facebook page. You need to enter a name for your viral website's Facebook page, just like when you introduced your name when you set up your Facebook account. The easiest and most practical route is to go with the actual name of your website, although you can use a longer name as long as it stays relevant. A profile image for your Facebook page. Your Facebook page needs a profile picture to identify it. A common practice for viral websites is to use the name of the website against a color background, but you can also use one that can be easily recognizable as yours. On Facebook, go to the sidebar menu on the left and click on Create Page. You'll see multiple page options, but the best way is to go with the brand or product. Select Website from the drop-down menu, enter the name of your viral website, and click on Get Started. Next, you'll need to enter a short description and your website's URL in the corresponding fields and press Save Info. You'll need to get the profile picture for your page. You can either upload it from your computer or import it from a website. Choose accordingly and click on Next. Specify if you want to add your Facebook page to your favorites or if you prefer to skip this step. The last step will ask you to define an audience to advertise your content to. Let's skip this step altogether because that is a subject for a different video. So just click Skip. Now your Facebook page is ready. Don't forget to add a cover image to make it more posh. Sharing links that are sure to go viral. Sharing a link to make it viral on Facebook is as easy as posting something on your wall. However, this time you'll be sharing content from your viral website through its Facebook page. So certain rules apply. Remember, you're trying to reach as many people as possible. First, you have to create a compelling headline before you add the content link to your post. Your headline should have an opening line that denotes and describes a personal connection with the content. Make it short and to the point. After this opening line, add a relevant question. These are the two most important elements in your headline. You can also add hashtags and tags when possible, because this can help you increase outreach in some cases. Adding calls to action are important too. 
People will complete an action only if you instruct them to do it. For example, you can invite your viewers to read and share. Once you create your headline, insert your link. You'll see that an image box will appear with your featured image, which means that you can delete the link introduced. People will be redirected to your content when they click on the image box. You can add a call to action to the title of your content and edit the description below the image box. Save on Publish, and you're done. Scheduling your viral posts. If you want your content and your posts to go viral on a schedule, or if you want to reach people on a specific date and time, you'll just have to click on the arrow button beside the Publish button and select Schedule to enter a date and time to release your posts. Reaching Organic Traffic The best way to reach more and more people and get more and more shares is through organic traffic. Organic traffic will actually lead you to people genuinely interested in your content. To attract organic traffic to your site, it will be as easy as following these guidelines. Making your Facebook page highly relevant both to Facebook and its users. Complete your About page. Invite people to like your page using the Invite Friends to Like This Page button. Make sure to post content at least five times a day. Use a combination of articles, videos, images, memes, and updates. Doing this will increase the chances of your page appearing in the top and trending results when people search keywords on Facebook. It will also help you appear in search engine results. Place Facebook Like buttons on your viral website. Create a discussion group and be an active member. That is how we leverage the power of Facebook to grow your viral business. Going wildly viral with Pinterest. Social media platforms come in a wide variety of flavors, and no other social media network is a better example of this than the second one that we will discuss in our coverage of social media as a channel for viral content, like Pinterest. Pinterest is a unique social media network that was born in 2010. What makes it different than the rest of its counterparts in the social media landscape is that it does not rely on timeliness and updates to engage users. Instead, it works as a photo sharing application breaking with the standard way in which most social networks operate. Being a photo sharing application channeling the features of a social network, timeliness and updates are presented as pins. Users pin content such as images and videos on the feed to be checked and shared by others. When looked at closely, Pinterest resembles a classic pin board in which people pin stuff for others to check, hence the pin part of the name. What makes Pinterest great for viral content? Pinterest is often considered to be a niche-centric social network because it mostly attracts a specific set of people. With an audience that is 60% women and 50% parents, it doesn't make it less ideal for going wildly viral. That's precisely why you have an audience that is heavy on busy users, and you're more likely to get views and shares for your content. Why? Much like people on Facebook, Pinterest users tend to rapidly glance over content when they have a chance to check their feeds. When they see something catchy, they'll share it. You can consider that a share on Pinterest is a piece of time invested by users, and your viral content must be high quality and worth its salt. Not convinced yet? Here are some Pinterest facts. 88% of people purchase products that they pin on Pinterest. 49% of people buy an average of five of the total number of products they pin on Pinterest. 88% of Pinterest users access the network from a mobile device, which increases the chances of your content being shared. Create an amazing pin board. To succeed on Pinterest, you'll have to create a pin board that is outstanding enough that people will have no choice but to follow it. The number one attribute that you should be aware of when creating your Pinterest pin board is simplicity. The goal is to simplify navigation on it, so your users will make your content more accessible and easier to share. Remember, your pin board is where your content will be displayed. Think of it as your Facebook wall. But instead of it being organized as a timeline, it is organized as a content menu dashboard. Let's start with the basics and get yours created. First, go to your profile. There, you'll see the option to create a board, that is, a pin board for your content. Click on Create Board. The idea here is to create boards that you can separate into categories for each of your viral posts. 
For example, if several of your viral posts are news-related, you have to create a board for news. If some of your posts are sports-related, you have to create a separate board for sports, and so on for each category. It's better to create separate boards for different categories to simplify navigation in your profile, because posts from one category will overtake space on a single board, leaving posts from other categories underperforming. Also, if your content is scattered throughout several uncategorized pins, your boards will look disorganized, and your visitors will feel overwhelmed and leave. For the sake of this video, we will create a board for the foods category. Note that the category of your boards will be mostly reflected in their names, so name them accordingly. Write a brief description, choose a category, select whether you want to make your board secret or not, and select people to collaborate with your board through email or from your contacts. Then click on Create. Let's quickly create another one to demonstrate how your profile should look with differently categorized boards. As you can see, your boards look empty. That's because you have not added anything to them yet, which leads us to the next step, adding viral pins to your boards. Start by clicking on the plus board in the lower corner on the right. You can upload pins by choosing a photo from your computer or by saving content from an external website. Most of your pins will be viral posts from your website, so the option that you'll use most is the Save from a Website option. Simply click on the Save from a Website button and have the URL of your viral post ready to paste it in the Save from a Website field. Once you paste it, click on Next. And on the following page, click on Save. Before your content is pinned, choose on which board you'll pin it and add a little description to it. Remember, this description needs to follow the same guidelines mentioned in the Facebook video for viral posts. Brief headline, personal question, and call to action. Okay, so now that you have your viral content on Pinterest, how do you make it actually go viral? This is pretty simple. In Pinterest, you have to find who is consuming the same type of content that you are making viral. Go to the search bar on top and enter a keyword related to your viral content. In the results page, click on the People tab. A list of people will be displayed. These people are who you want seeing and sharing your content to make it viral on Pinterest. What you have to do now is start following them. When you follow them, they will receive a notification. The vast majority of them will follow that notification through and will check your profile and your content. Once they check your content and see that it is related to their interests, they will follow you back and start sharing your content. That is how you obtain Pinterest leads and shares for free. Follow these guidelines to the letter, and you'll soon become a Pinterest viral star. Going Wildly Viral with Twitter In this video, we are going to cover one of the very classics in the social networking world. Twitter. Twitter is a user-friendly social network that lets people share their thoughts within 140 characters or less. The beauty of Twitter lies in its simplicity, and that is why so many marketers love it as a channel to drive wildly successful viral marketing campaigns. As a matter of fact, basically any kind of content can go viral on Twitter as long as it is of people's liking. There has been so much stuff that has gone so unpredictably viral on the platform that it kind of gets hard to believe. From simple jokes to trivia to image macros, anything brief and shareable has the potential to go viral. What makes Twitter great for viral content? There is so much that can be said about Twitter as a leading platform in the viral marketing game, yet many marketers are still unaware of its true potential, dismissing the success of irrelevant pieces of content going viral as happy accidents without realizing that the same reasons that led such content up the viral alley can be used as strategies to make basically anything become viral. To understand this, it is important to first understand the nature of Twitter. Once a Twitter account tweets something, be it a message, an image, or a link, it becomes just a matter of minutes before that same piece of content reaches millions of users. If the content is really good and shareable, it will be retweeted until all its potential outreach has been exhausted, and the numbers speak for themselves. Twitter has an active user base that averages 288 million monthly active users. Over 500 million tweets are sent during a single day on any given day. 
The most retweeted tweet on the platform got 3.4 million retweets on a single seating. Twitter gets an average of 1.7 billion monthly visits. As a viral marketer, what's not to love about Twitter? Getting lots of followers. Now, Twitter will do nothing for you on autopilot. That much is granted. So you'll have to do your homework before you can so much as see a single retweet. You're not going to make it very far if you only share your content with your contacts in hopes of seeing your content becoming an overnight viral hit. What you'll need is followers, and you'll need lots of them. You need them even before you create your first tweet, because relying on only hashtags as a mean of getting discovered will be a slow process that can lead you nowhere. Unless you have a large following outside of your Twitter account, you'll need to find those followers pronto. Thankfully, we have a nice little trick for you. Go to your Twitter account and use the search bar on top to look for keywords that are relevant to your viral content. What you're going to do with this information is find the right people to engage with your Twitter account, with your viral content, and your viral website. In the results page, go to the Accounts tab. There, you'll see a list of the Twitter accounts that post content related to your keyword. Each one of these accounts has a number of followers that you want to have access to, to make them your followers, too. As you can see, following them one by one on the Twitter platform can become a bit tiresome after a certain number of clicks. An alternative to this method has been devised by clever marketers. Simply go to Tweepy.com and sign up for free. Once there, you'll see a feature called Follow Followers, and that is the one you'll be using for this. With this function, you can take any Twitter account and get a list of its followers. This means that you can get access to the full list of followers of a Twitter account of your choice without having to scavenge through that list on Twitter. Simply go back to Twitter and look for an account relevant to your topics. Choose one that looks active and with a large number of followers. Copy its handler from the address bar and paste it on Tweepy.com. You'll see the full list of users loading, and you'll just have to click on Follow in Sequence. There you have it. Posting a tweet that will go viral. Posting a tweet that will go viral is quite easy to pull off on Twitter. In your Twitter homepage, look at the Trends menu at the left bottom corner. There you'll see a list of trending topics for the day presented as hashtags. To leverage the traffic that these topics are getting, simply click on a hashtag of your choice. What you'll have to do now is find a post from your website that can be associated with the hashtag. And in case you don't have one, we recommend you create it. Copy your post's URL and go to bit.ly.com to shorten it. You'll always need to shorten your links when tweeting them because remember, Twitter has a 140 character limit. Now, go back to Twitter and click on Tweet to start creating your tweet. Use the trending hashtag at the beginning of your tweet. Write an attractive message that will entice people to click on your link and paste it. Finally, click on Add Photos or Videos, and look for a cool feature picture for your tweet on your computer. Once you're done, click on Tweet, and see the click-through on your viral website soar. Use these two strategies to get thousands of followers and retweets, and you'll become a Twitter viral star in no time. Now, make sure to stay tuned for more social media viral tips. Going wildly viral with Reddit. Let's take a moment to understand that you might be surprised by the introduction of this next social media network into our training. That's because, while we are pretty sure that you have come across it before, you might have thought of it more as a viral website than as a social media platform. We are, of course, talking about Reddit. The confusion about Reddit's nature mostly comes from the fact that it is a social news aggregation website, which means that it is a social media platform with characteristics most often attributed to viral websites, including features such as web content rating, discussion boards, text posts, and direct links. The social aspect comes from how users interact with the viral content on the platform, and content indeed goes viral once it goes through Reddit. Reddit refers to itself as the front page of the Internet, with a good reason. Basically, because any type of content from memes to news pieces to serious discussion goes on Reddit will sometimes go viral even before it goes on the net somewhere else. 
some interesting viral facts about Reddit. There are 234 million active Reddit users around the world. Reddit gets close to 9 billion page views on any given month, and almost 60% of all traffic on Reddit is from the United States. How you can go wildly viral on Reddit. Going wildly viral on Reddit depends a lot on both the quality of your content and its subject matter. The main hub for viral content on Reddit is its front page, where all the really viral content goes. Be advised, content that goes to the front page usually comes from many referrals around the web, and sometimes a little build-up is needed before something can make it to Reddit's front page. A good starting point are subreddits. Subreddits are kind of like a discussion forum for niche subjects. Whereas everything and anything goes on the front page, subreddits are dedicated to a sole subject matter. Things go wildly viral on subreddits too, and that can be a jumpstart for your viral content. To find subreddits, just use the search bar on the right and enter a keyword that is relevant to the content that you want to make go viral on Reddit. Once in the results page, locate a subreddit with a reasonable number of subscribers. Not too many and not too little of them. Why? Well, if you post your content on subreddits with too many subscribers, your content can get buried under the vast number of irrelevant content posted by some users. And on subreddits with too little subscribers, your posts will not get enough outreach. Get inside the subreddit. Then, get your content's URL ready to create your viral post. Click on the Submit a New Link button. In the next page, enter your URL, a title for your post, verify the CAPTCHA, and specify if you want to receive replies on your post to your inbox. Then, click on Submit. Your post will appear in the New section of the subreddit. If you want it to go to the hot section to get viral traffic to your site, you'll need to get several upvotes, which you are sure to get because your content is just great. We recommend you interact and comment on other posts in the same subreddit so you won't be flagged as a spammer by its creators. Follow these two simple rules and dominate your niche's subreddits. Going wildly viral with StumbleUpon. StumbleUpon is another little hidden gem in the world of online marketing. Often misunderstood by marketers as a tool to pass time based on how it looks, StumbleUpon is a discovery website that has been designed to feed content to its users based on their stated interests when they sign up to use the site. Well, check this out. It works on the same principles of a social network website, which means that StumbleUpon is a type of custom search engine with social networking features. That also means that content on StumbleUpon goes viral the same as it would on Facebook. Web content, photos, and videos are shared by peer sourcing, meaning that if the content is great, the advertising comes for free. You can see this in action every time you log in to StumbleUpon. You'll see featured content served to you according to your interests. When you click on the Stumble button, a new piece of content will load. This piece of content will feature some useful information with an accompanying image or video and text. It will also include a link to an external website, which means that your viral website will get traffic through these StumbleUpon posts too. Now, when you and other users are served this content, you'll have three ways to interact with it. You'll make it go viral or just outright prevent it from doing so. In the top left corner, you'll have a like, a dislike, and a share button. When users click on like, content gets spread further, and more content from the creator and from that category will be served to you. When users click on Share, content can be shared on Facebook and Twitter with the click of a button, including to other users in the StumbleUpon platform. Finally, if users click on Dislike, content gets gradually taken back, so you have to avoid showing undesirable or low-quality content to avoid getting dislikes. As you can see, StumbleUpon is a great place to upload your viral content thanks to the way it works, and it is quite easy to do so. Have your content URL ready before you get started and log into your StumbleUpon profile. Click on the Add Page button. A small window will appear for you to enter your viral page's information. First, add your URL in the Web Address field. Then, specify if it is safe for work by checking either Yes or No. In the Search Interests field, you'll need to specify which niche your page fulfills. 
Your page will appear to people that have marked these interests. Finally, add tags to make your page easier to find and click on Save. That's it. You can check how your page will appear to others in your profile and start adding others as well. Remember, only great, useful content alongside catchy images will get you a top spot in StumbleUpon. Welcome to Section 5 of our Viral Marketing Video Training. In this section, we'll talk about profiting from affiliate offers, profiting from Google AdSense, and profiting from content marketing platforms. We hope you enjoy and get the most out of this training section. Profiting from Affiliate Offers Affiliate marketing, for those unfamiliar with the term, is a form of marketing that pays advertisers for performance. In this case, performance refers to when an advertiser drives customers through a sales funnel to make a purchase from a vendor. There are two parties involved in affiliate marketing, publishers and advertisers. Publishers are the vendors of the product in need of promotion, and advertisers are the people advertising the product in order to drive sales. Publishers delegate the marketing aspect of their business to advertisers in exchange of a fee paid to the advertisers based on a percentage of the base price of the product. For example, you can dedicate a section of your viral website to Amazon products. You can create a separate post for certain products, redirect visitors to the Amazon product page, and get paid every time someone makes a purchase. It works as easy as that. The only thing you need to do is sign up for an affiliate program online and start profiting. Viral marketing is a great way to market products to sell through affiliate channels because it spreads quickly and is cost-effective. People will promote your product for you just like they would promote a piece of viral content. Here are some of the best affiliate channels to deliver great viral marketing campaigns. CPA CPA is short for Cost Per Acquisition or Cost Per Action, where an acquisition refers to a new client acquired for a business and an action refers to an action initiated by a customer, such as making a purchase or signing up for a service. Each product or service offered is known as a CPA offer and can only be accessed through CPA networks. CPA networks are where advertisers can sign up to get access to CPA offers to promote. Among the most popular networks are Max Bounty and Peerfly. Amazon Amazon.com has an awesome affiliate program called Amazon Associates. You can sign up for the program to start promoting Amazon products on your page. Payout rates start at 4% and go up to 8% for each product a customer buys when referred from your site. Simply link to the products on Amazon through a well-presented post and get ready to make a buck. ClickBank ClickBank is one of the most popular affiliate marketplaces on the Internet, with more than 17 years of experience in the affiliate niche. It has a library of over 6 million products and a customer base of over 200 million people around the world. Sign up as a digital marketer to start promoting products from the ClickBank catalog and start earning commissions as high as 75%. Choose the products that you want to sell, get paid on time, and develop partnerships to increase your income. JVZoo JVZoo is another highly profitable affiliate marketplace that provides the network, the tools, and the essential solutions to build a successful internet business. JVZoo offers affiliates instant payments, secure payment plan options, a sales funnel generator, and seamless integration to incorporate everything you need to operate in one place. Profiting from Google AdSense Have you ever wondered what most of the viral and niche websites out there do to make money and how they keep themselves running? The answer is paid advertising. You have already been exposed to paid advertising each time you visit your favorite website. Check your favorite content and you can see how it is surrounded by ads in different forms, placements, and shapes. Most likely, those ads are being served by the AdSense platform, which is a paid advertising service provided by Google. It also works as a free monetization service for website owners to leverage their website's content and space to turn a profit by showing ads.
Google gets paid by advertisers each time any AdSense ads are clicked. The website owner profits from Google's revenue because Google splits what it earns from advertising with website owners signed to the AdSense account. Of course, it is not enough to only show AdSense ads in your site to make a profit. You need lots of high-quality traffic in order to profit from AdSense revenue. If you're not getting enough traffic, you will not get enough clicks. And you only get paid for clicks on the ads shown in your site. So the more visitors click your ads, the better. Just go to the sign-up form at google.com slash AdSense. Sign in using your Google account. Enter your website address when prompted. Enter your personal information and submit your application. On average, Google will take a week to let you know if your site qualifies and your AdSense account is approved. As long as your site complies with their policies and offers great relevant content to its visitors, you will not have a problem getting the approval. Just make sure that your viral website has the following pages. An About Us page. We are pretty sure that you already thought about including this section in your site, even without us telling you to do so, but it's worth a reminder. An About Us page is dedicated to carefully explaining what your site is about and what visitors can expect to find on it. A Contact page. Having a contact page on your site is also important for Google to approve your site to participate in the AdSense program. Your contact page should contain a mandatory email address where visitors can contact you, as well as other channels that you might like to add. A privacy policy page. This is the section that the AdSense team will pay the most attention to, because this is the page where you are going to tell your visitors that you use the AdSense platform to serve them ads, as well as specify how you use the information collected from them. All right, now your AdSense account has been approved and you can start showing AdSense ads in your site. How can you do that? There are two easy ways to do so. The first one is to copy the AdSense codes from your AdSense account and go to your WordPress dashboard. Hover over the Appearance tab and click on Widgets. Scroll down and click on Text. Choose where you would like to place the AdSense ad from the code in your site, which will depend on the options provided by the theme of your choosing. Then click on Add Widget. Paste the code from your AdSense account in the content field and click on Save. Now, the ads will appear on your site. The second option is to download the official AdSense plugin for WordPress. Simply go to the Plugins tab in your dashboard, click on Add New, and use the AdSense keyword in the Search Plugin search bar. Now, look for the plugin, install it, and activate it. To use the AdSense plugin, go to the Settings tab in the menu on the left and click on AdSense. You'll be asked to sign into your Google account to sync your AdSense account with your site, so you can start inserting ads directly from your WordPress editor. Profiting from Content Marketing Platforms Have you ever been reading something on a website and noticed content at the bottom of the article containing links to articles that you thought looked a lot different than what you are used to on that site? Then, out of curiosity, you decided to click on the links and got redirected to an article on a different website. This new trend is called content marketing. It works a lot like paid advertising. But instead of serving ads for products, websites, or services to visitors of a website, they serve content from other websites. It is aiming to boost traffic to the website from where the content being promoted originates. It has become a great alternative for marketers because they can promote a website, a product, or a service straight through a piece of content. It is great for websites because they can promote their content on other websites with high traffic to attract people. What are some of the great benefits of content marketing for my viral website? Content marketing will generate more inbound traffic to your website. That's because content marketing responds to entertainment needs and not directly to commercial needs. That's the reason why it is preferred by 68% of consumers and is the reason why it's especially good for viral websites and viral content. Content marketing increases engagement when the audiences are highly targeted because content promotion does not look like advertising and highly targeted audiences respond very positively to it. Content marketing builds up natural link popularity when used on rich media websites or blogs, which means that it is perfect for viral websites just like yours. Content marketing also drives more sales and generates more leads. 
So when grouped along with paid advertising and affiliate offers on a viral website, the payouts increase. How does your viral website monetize content marketing? Much like with paid advertising, content marketing pays advertisers when content is clicked. Each time that visitor clicks on a piece of promoted content, the company owning the promoted content pays a royalty to the content advertiser. That means that you get paid every time visitors on your website see a piece of promoted content of their interest and they click on it. This should be motivation enough to get more traffic to your website, because content marketing can be your third monetization channel. How can you use content marketing on your viral website? To enable content marketing on your viral website, you'll have to sign up for a content marketing platform first. Content marketing platforms will be the ones providing you with the content to promote, much like AdSense provides you with ads to serve on your website. There are several content marketing platforms out there, but we recommend you sign up for either of these two based on prior user experience. Taboola Taboola is a content marketing platform that uses content to drive business growth. It gets content on top publisher sites, providing a neat 82% lift in brand recognition. To participate in the Taboola content marketing program, fill in the sign-up form. Outbrain Outbrain is another successful content marketing platform that helps content creators and publishers reach new audiences. It reaches over 557 million people a month and serves over 200 million recommendations in the same time span. Welcome to Section 6 of our Viral Marketing Video Training. In this section, we'll talk about 10 Do's to Apply, 10 Don'ts to Avoid, Premium Tools and Services, and Shocking Case Studies. We hope you enjoy and get the most out of this training section. 10 Do's to Apply Create Content that Creates Reaction Making people react to your content is the best way to make it go viral. Make sure that your content is about something that touches a nerve within people, because that is the secret behind getting people virally sharing it. It has to be something that anyone, not only a fraction of an audience, could be interested in. Use buzz and power words to grab everybody's attention. Your viral content is surely going to be a hit if you can present it as something familiar with an element that has not been shown before. To summarize this, you do create reactions through your viral content when it is emotional familiar, and has an element of novelty that fosters curiosity in the viewer. Respond to interaction. You have to answer the questions of your followers and interact with them. Why? If you create content that goes viral, you'll have to be prepared to answer questions about it and be present to keep the viral fire alive, so be ready for it. Everyone loves getting a little attention, especially if it comes from the people responsible for their favorite things. Try to create some controversy around one of your answers or comments to see an incremental boost in traffic to your content or, better still, more coverage for it. Make your content easy to share. Your viral content needs to be easily shareable if you really want to see how far people can take it. For example, viral YouTube videos. If you upload a video to YouTube, anyone can share it on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Blogger, Tumblr, LinkedIn, Pinterest, embed it on any website, and share it on many other platforms. If you write the content on your website, include options to share on social media, such as social buttons in any piece of written content, as well as buttons to forward your content through email and instant messaging services like WhatsApp. Follow-up to successful viral campaigns. If your content goes viral and becomes a trending hit for a prolonged time, take a serious look at it and see if it can be reinvented or amplified. A lot of times, viral content can be resurrected thanks to any added element of surprise that entices the very same people that started sharing it to keep the conversation going even after the first bout of viral sharing. The intention is to create viral content that not only gets shared and forgotten, but to create viral content that resonates with time. Content that people will remember and share years after it made headlines all over the place. Your goal should be to make your viral content a future water cooler moment. Make an emotional connection with your content. To our previous point, 
To really stand the test of time and become future-proof, a piece of viral content needs to hit an emotional button on people. Remember, what people like to share with others are things that hold an emotional value to them. And emotional value can be created not only by making people smile or cry, but also by making them associate your content with something cool. Try to remember the most successful pieces of viral content that you've seen and examine what exactly makes you feel that way. Do they remind you of someone close to you or a fun activity? Did they make you laugh in a specific situation? That is the kind of emotional responses you want to stir in people with your content. Use relevant keywords. Keywords that are relevant to your content will make a huge difference between getting a little traffic or a lot. Granted, having content that appeals to everyone is the first step, but using the correct string of keywords will help you to really get where you need to go. So don't use just any headline. Also, optimize your campaigns for attracting traffic from as many sources as possible. Use a call to action. Using a call to action is one of the most effective strategies in online marketing, and that applies even more so with viral marketing. Invite visitors, viewers, and consumers to take action with an attractive call to action and make the excitement infectious. Show your prospects how to use your products. If you're in the e-commerce business and you really want to grow your sales, you'll need to teach people how to use your products in a way that is so entertaining to them that they will have no other option but to show your method to the world. A nice how-to video works wonders if done in an entertaining, unique way. Other ways to teach your clients how to use your products include running giveaways, contests, or suggesting the creation of user-made videos with ideas that can be implemented with your product. The idea is to fuel viral sharing through promotional learning. Do something unexpected. Everyone wants to see their product look perfect and nice, right? You can do that and more. If you want your marketing campaign to be noticed and become a hit, you'll need to make a difference. Get creative and think about ways in which you can make your product or content stand out. Use your imagination and get inspiration from the success of others. Don't be afraid of trying new things. Use promotions and coupons. Everyone wants to buy something for a lesser price than usual, and a good discount will always be tempting to anybody. Using promotions and gift coupons can motivate people to spread the word about anything. This is a strategy that many online marketers use today. Using the word free is especially powerful if you want something to spread quickly. Ten Don'ts to Avoid Don't Restrict Access to Your Content by restricting access, we don't mean prohibit or block certain people access to your viral content, which you would find sooner than later impossible to pull off. We mean that access to your viral content should be as easy as a simple click. You might ask how it is possible to restrict access to a piece of content if you just want to make it go viral and monetize it. Well, the easiest way to restrict access to a piece of content is to put it behind a paywall, and many marketers do not realize this until it's too late. To force people to subscribe, pay, or give away any type of information in exchange for access to your content might work for other types of marketing campaigns, but not for viral campaigns, because it will slow down or entirely stop your content from going viral really fast. Remember, viral marketing is not about exclusivity, so you should allow everybody easy access to your content. Don't expect it to go viral immediately. The results of your viral marketing campaign will not be immediately apparent. In fact, it might not be all that exciting in the first few hours after you launch your campaign. Like we mentioned in our previous videos, viral marketing spreads just like a computer virus when a group of people is exposed to your content or product through an initial group of people and so on. The internet is huge and there are millions to billions of active people just in one social network alone. So can you imagine how much time it can take for any type of content to go viral and reach the edges of the World Wide Web? You have to be patient and not let your guard down by thinking that your campaign is not viral just because you're not in the news two hours after launch. Don't break the bank with expensive advertising. Paid advertising can help you a great deal when you try to give even the smallest boost to your viral campaigns. 
but you have to be really cautious and savvy when using it for such a purpose. Besides, remember that the goal of a viral marketing campaign is to actually get people to promote your content for you by aggressively sharing it across their social networks. Granted, if you're just starting out and you don't have enough individuals with high networking potential enlisted among your followers, it can be a little tough to get your campaign across the map. In that case, what helps is to set a little budget and use the cheapest options available. Social media networks such as Facebook and Twitter will allow you to deliver your social media posts to thousands upon thousands of people for as little as $5 a day. Use these cheap advertising options, along with well-crafted headlines and posts, and you'll have a sure winner. Don't obsess over going viral. It can be easy to get overridden with excitement over the idea of making something go viral. We advise you to be cold-headed in this respect. Although a big chunk of a viral marketing campaign is to drive excitement, you can't overestimate the fact that you can end up oversharing a story to the point of making it tiresome to others. Don't stress over it. It will only burn you and your followers out before a campaign reaches its true potential. Just plan carefully and let the virus flow naturally. Don't underestimate social media. Social networks have replaced email as the main reason behind a piece of content becoming a viral phenomenon. That's because the very nature of social networks allow for the spread of information to go full force. The introduction of social media sharing buttons in your website will work as a call to action button for your visitors. They will associate those buttons by default with activity in their preferred social media network and will be automatically tempted to click on them. Use the power of social media to your advantage. Don't be cold and boring. Don't treat viral marketing campaigns the same as you would a cold sales pitch. Always remember that while your intention might be to make a profit, that is not the message that you should be sending with your campaign. People will be able to smell that from a mile away and treat your campaign as a cheap online gimmick used by you or your business to drive some sales. Be charismatic. Be creative. Be funny. Be smart. Send a striking message and never ever focus on telling your audience that you are selling them something. Tell them that you have something so cool for them that they will want everybody else to see it. Don't forget to create videos. Videos are the most powerful technique in viral marketing. You have experienced the viral power of videos yourself anytime you're prompted to share a video on your social media feeds, even if you didn't like it. Try to always use a video for your viral marketing campaigns. Don't focus on traditional marketing methods. Traditional marketing methods do not work well with viral marketing methods, and when they do, they have to go in disguise. This is because traditional marketing methods focus on the product and its attributes, whereas viral marketing focuses on a story, fact, or occurrence. When you try to promote a product with legitimate viral marketing, you have to surround your product with a story or occurrence. Then, your product becomes an idea. If not, your campaign will hardly go viral and will instead just merely be popular. Don't mislead. Misleading headlines have been overused to promote stories. Tragically, the initial impact of a misleading headline does not last long in the majority of cases. Worse still, if you use a misleading headline and get caught the first time, you'll be left out of the game forever if people decide that your business is a sham and not worth their time. Don't assume that you have to be controversial. While it can help to add a little amount of spice to a piece of content to help it go viral in some instances, it will hurt you in the long run if you think that the secret behind going viral is to be controversial. That can work for some people depending on the context. But businesses are hurt by controversy no matter what. So don't make people expect controversy from you. Premium Tools and Services Untorch This is a fully automated referral program for email signups. Untorch will allow you to create a reward for those who share, push, and forward your content to others, unleashing a new layer of interactivity with consumers. All you have to do is copy and paste the Untorch widget onto your website. Untorch creates email capture forms, provides each signup with a unique URL to share, keeps track of referrals, and follows up through emails, 
notifying you every time that someone signs up through your link. It will also provide you with emails and referral info. Untorch is priced at $199 per campaign per year, with no hidden fees. You'll be paying for the service as a whole and not per email, enabling you to go viral by collecting as many leads as you are able to. You can try it before you buy it by creating a campaign and testing the Untorch widget on your site today. What's Trending What's Trending is a home for all of what is trending on the Internet on any given day. You can visit this site to learn what is trending now and what is worth featuring on your viral website to keep your visitors in the know while generating more high-quality traffic. What's Trending covers the most viral and shareable content across the World Wide Web. BuzzSumo BuzzSumo is a platform that is perfect for analyzing what kind of content performs best for any topic or competitor. What it basically means is that by using it, you'll be able to define which topics are related to your business that are getting the most attention. BuzzSumo offers a visually simple yet powerful interface that you can use to quickly identify the content that is working within a given niche or audience. By simply introducing a keyword or set of keywords, you'll be able to see which social platforms like your search terms and the number of times they have been shared within a certain period of time. It is also great for monitoring your competition. It is priced at $99 for the pro plan, $299 for the agency plan, and $699 for the enterprise plan. You can start your free trial today and see how it works for yourself. Tout. Tout is a tool that focuses on video sharing, currently powering video content on over 2,800 websites with an audience of over 46 million unique viewers monthly helping publishers, content creators, and advertisers generate revenue through its sophisticated technology. Tout allows you to create short 15-second videos that can be shared as status updates on social media platforms. The objective of this tool is to make a huge impact through easy-to-digest and to-the-point videos, which work better than long videos for viral marketing campaigns. It has a premium video marketplace, and it scans and analyzes text-based articles to help you identify contextually relevant videos. You can request a demo and see how you can implement it in your campaigns. Viral Content Buzz Viral Content Buzz is a free social media promotional tool that helps you drive content awareness by sharing it with eager social media influencers, potentially increasing traffic for your content by a whopping 200%. Specifically, your Twitter username will get retweeted a lot by the hour, making you build up your following and your site's authority. Promotion on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and StumbleUpon comes for free, and you'll be able to generate real social buzz for your best content, get real viral content buzz testimonials, and get rewarded for sharing your content with others. You just need to register or sign up with Facebook or Twitter to start using it today. Google Trends Google Trends is a great tool when you want to take a more in-depth look at trending matters. You'll be able to gauge statistical and graphical insights on data collected for trending topics and search such data by categories that go from business to sports and filter your results by country. You can take a look at the stories trending now to get inspiration and see the most recent trending keywords related to recent events and news. You can enter a keyword and get insights like interest on such keywords over time, regions most interested in the keyword, and the topics related to it. The Google Trends tool is great for assessing how viral content evolves over time and what is potentially viral right now. To use the Google Trends tool, you'll only need to have a Google account. Similar Web. Similar Web is a service that will allow you to take a peek at your competition and see which viral website is getting the most traffic. You can see which social networks are giving them the most traffic and what their referral sources are. Knowing which ones are the most popular is useful because you can go to their sites and see what they do well to attract such amounts of traffic. Then you can adopt similar strategies for your own viral site. Canva Canva is a free tool that has become popular on the merits of letting marketers go wild on their designs with ease. It will enable you to create beautiful designs and documents for your viral website or social media profiles with its intuitive drag-and-drop functionality. Credit goes to Canva because true to the nature of viral marketing, it will enable you to create stunning designs that you can adapt to your campaign. Trend Hunter Trend Hunter is the most popular trend community in the world. 
Trend Hunter inspires industry professionals, aspiring entrepreneurs, and the insatiably curious to go beyond their reach. They leverage big data and award-winning methods to accelerate the release of potentially viral content because it predicts, monitors, and validates consumer insight on any topic. Co-Schedule Headline Analyzer The Co-Schedule Headline Analyzer has been created to score the overall quality of your headlines. Simply enter your headlines in the text box and click on Analyze Now to see how well your headlines will do when it comes to social sharing, traffic, and SEO value. You can use it for free for 14 days and then sign up for any of their plans. Readability Checker TheWriter.com has assumed the mission of rescuing the corporate world from linguistic mediocrity. They have created the Readability Checker to test how readable your content is. Simply enter your content in the text box and click the Check My Readability button to see how well your content scores. Shocking Case Studies How Chris Gimmer Generated 17,584 Visitors in One Day Chris Gimmer is the founder of Bootstrap Bay, a marketplace for website themes built using the ever-popular development framework Bootstrap. Chris knew he was getting into a very competitive niche, so he needed a good strategy to get started. Objective his objective was to heavily promote his new product without having an initial social buildup because he didn't have too many social connections to speak of. What he found was that even when his competitors had a huge fan base, they weren't actively marketing their sites with SEO or marketing content. He saw this as a golden opportunity for Bootstrap Bay to quickly grab some market share. Strategy He started to use grade A contextual backlinks, which bumped up Bootstrap Bay's domain authority which boosted the rankings of every page on Chris's site. Result. Bootstrap based content has been shared over 240,000 times on social media, bringing in 17,584 visitors in one day to Chris's site. It also generated over 204,000 total visitors over the last four months. The Bootstrap Bay homepage now ranks number nine for bootstrap themes on Google with 12,100 monthly searches. How the Skyscraper Technique Increased Search Engine Traffic to Brian Dean's Blog by 110% in 14 Days Brian Dean is the founder of Backlinko, a training hub for digital marketing pros with over 110,000 monthly readers and a popular email newsletter. Objective His main objective was to boost the number of backlinks to a post called Google's 200 Ranking Factors, the complete list with the execution of the skyscraper technique, a technique that Brian says almost guarantees you'll get high-quality links for every piece of content that you publish. Strategy The strategy was to publish a piece of content that people would consider to be among the best and stack more content on top of it, that way creating a piece of content that would have something for everybody in it, making it more shareable. It worked because he took an already popular subject and made it longer, with better design and handed it to the right people. Results. The number of backlinks to that page shot up like a rocket. That single post has driven more than 300,000 referral visitors to Brian's site in a short span of time, and traffic to his entire site doubled after the post was published. How Google launched a promotional video to make it a million shares winner. Google, one of the biggest and most successful internet companies in the world, launched a simple yet cute video campaign to keep promoting its Android mobile operating system. Objective. Google's objective was to rival its own prior video campaign, which launched under the name of Be Together, Not the Same, in 2014. Strategy. The strategy pursued by Google was to emphasize how emotions driven by substance in content lead to success by placing different animals together across several one-minute videos. The video campaign was aptly named Friends Forever and was aimed at inciting a tender response from viewers. Results. The video campaign is now the most shared ad of all time. It has been shared 6.4 million times across Facebook, Twitter, and countless blogs. How Listerine Broke Records with Social Engagement Listerine is the acclaimed oral health products manufacturer we all know and love. 
they decided to launch an unusual marketing campaign branded at a large yet focused regional audience. Objective The objective of the brand was to push the young demographics of Hong Kong to use Listerine mouthwash every day, twice a day. Furthermore, they wanted to show its audience the risk associated to poor oral health through an entertaining message. Strategy Listerine went against all odds when it launched its Kabi Dan campaign in Hong Kong, a marketing campaign based on a regional-specific cultural aspect that defines boldness. They went with a known celebrity in the country and invited its audience to always be prepared with Listerine products by using a clever and brief video. Results The video ended up being Listerine's most successful ad to date, with over 100,000 views in less than 24 hours and a total of 1 million views in a mere 100 hours. How Aquas Hair scored over 44% more traffic and over 20% more sales. Aquas is a hair towel manufacturer from California, the brainchild of Britta Cox, who as a busy person, in a quest to find a solution to keep her hair beautiful and healthy using conventional towels, had no option but to invent the perfect towel herself. Objective the objective of the brand was to make the small California company bigger and better. While Aquas has had some success in the past when it was featured on a series of YouTube videos, it needed a stronger push. So its marketing team knew it was about time to use some influencer action. Strategy Much of what makes Aquas products great comes from how they combine emotion and science into an irresistible package, a message that is quite easy to convey and deliver. Knowing this, the marketing team behind Aquas decided to use the power of social media and social engagement, knowing that peer pressure is a big factor in the consumer buying cycle. The strategy was to release several videos with Aquas products being featured in them, but the team decided to use a more cost-effective approach than content advertising to easily drive adoption of the products, to use influencers, which today are helping brands to gain better media exposure and brand awareness on platforms such as YouTube. They released 38 videos featuring several influencers showcasing the benefits obtained from using Aquas products, which felt natural and right at home for most YouTube visitors. Results During the first week of the campaign, the Aquas brand saw a significant surge in the numbers that they were used to. 118,458 views, a 44% increase in traffic to the company website, and a 20% increase in sales.